it's, it's just men don't want to talk about breast cancer. My name is Van Stax Jr. and I am a three-time male breast cancer survivor. After a car accident, I had an x-ray done and they saw a little small uh, dot. Uh, he was concerned about it, so he sent me to my primary care physician. My primary care physician sent me to uh, my first oncologist, uh, which was Dr. Coleman. And I went to him and uh, he came in the room after doing a needle biopsy and said, Mr. Stax, you have breast cancer. And of course that didn't go over well because I didn't believe that men could have breast cancer. So, you know, I said a couple of expertise to him too. Like, hey man, stop playing games. He's like, no, Mr. Stax, I'm very serious. You do have breast cancer. Uh, so within a week I was scheduled for my first mastectomy and without any chemo or radiation, I did a mastectomy and I was cancer free for over oh, six years. I was cancer free. And um, I was at a family reunion in 2019. Uh, start feeling lethargic again, start feeling the same way I felt. So as soon as I got back home to Memphis, I made an appointment here at West Cancer Center. And come to find out after the needle biopsy, my cancer had returned. I was in stage three in the same area that I had it the uh, first time. Uh, so I had another, my second mastectomy and their concern was it may penetrate my bone and metastasize over my entire body. Uh, but we caught it in time. Uh, it was in stage three. Um, I had a mastectomy and I did 27 rounds of chemotherapy afterwards. Was on the road to recovery, doing great. Um, no other signs or symptoms. Came back for my six months checkup and found out that I, the cancer had returned within six months. And I was in stage three again and did another mastectomy. And this time we did 32 rounds of radiation. And we finished April 29, 2021 was the last uh, day that I spent uh, doing radiation. And so I'm glad to report as of today, I am cancer free. My doctors here have been amazing. All three of my doctors have been amazing. Uh, that's what makes our your treatment so good and that uh, you can get well so much quicker because what happens is when you have great doctors and they listen to you and they could and you tell them something's wrong with your body and they listen and they respond and make sure that that pain is taken care of it makes your healing process much better because of their empathy and because of their compassion. And here at West, most of the doctors that I've ran into and that have been on my team have been very compassionate, have, have had great humanity, and made sure that I was taken care of. The same symptoms that women have, men have. Um, but the problem with men is that we are too proudful or prideful. We don't want to let our family members know that we're vulnerable. And it's not lack of treatment, it's lack of knowledge. It's lack of uh, knowing, okay, there's a lump here, although it's not hurting, I need to go get it checked. And we have a men's mantra that if it's not hurting me, if it's not bothering me, I'm not gonna bother it. But I tell those men, if you go get it checked, the life that you save may be your very own. On my birthday, on April 29th, 2021, I rung the bell for the third time. And that weekend, my friends got together and threw me this big surprise party. Uh, people flew in from out of town. I didn't know anything about it. They tricked me. And when I walked in, all of my friends were there. And it was my third battle. So people won't just come and show support like, hey, we're here but they start giving testimonials of how I touched their lives. And one of my best friends, a young man that I met when he was 16, 17, walked up and, and during his testimonial, he said, you talked about your dream to me. He said, here's $300 for you for your birthday, and here's $300 for you for your dream. I want you to start your dream, and here's $300. So once everybody saw, and he explained that I was had a dream, when I woke up Monday morning, I had over $1,700 in my cash app to start Pink Ain't What You Think. And so from that day, I have not stopped working. I just turned my pain into my passion. I didn't know anything about uh, how cold you get. Nobody told me that I was gonna get extremely cold. I'll never forget the little um, angel volunteer that y'all have that walks around. 
he walked up to me and he was like, hey, Mr. Stacks, he's are you cold? I said, yes, sir, I'm extremely cold. He said, well, hold on. He went to the back and he got me this ugly little fleece dog blanket. And, but it made such a difference in my treatment. And when he walked away, he said, this is my last blanket. So I made it my mission and my business to make sure that he wouldn't say that to anybody else. So that Friday, I got on Facebook, told my friends, hey, I'm in chemo and I have a need. Meet me for one hour, drive through at uh, West Cancer Center on Union and just drop the blanket off. Uh, and we're gonna call it uh, Blankets of Love. And so that Friday, all my friends on their lunch break stopped by and we collected 395 blankets that Friday to fill that closet up so that other patients, when they start their chemotherapy, they could be as comfortable as I was because of uh, the volunteer at West Cancer Center.